Hey everyone, it's Russ Curtis, Professor of Counseling. I want to talk about two components that comprise our overall intelligence. One of those is fluid intelligence, the other is crystallized. And why this is important, you would definitely want to share this with your parents or any older folks that you may know, uh, just to give them a little better understanding of how they're thinking, probably. And for the younger folks to understand where their strengths lay, lie as well. Uh, I am going to do a spoiler here that uh, the Chronicle of Higher Education did a study saying that older professors get better teacher ratings, probably because of this crystallized intelligence. So let's take a look at this. If we're going to leverage intelligence throughout our lifespan, <laughs> let's understand this. Fluid intelligence is what we use to analyze, to innovate, to solve novel problems, to learn so much so rapidly. If you think about how much you learned between high school and your college and all the courses you took and all the systems you had to know, that's, that's your fluid intelligence, to be able to solve novel problems and to accumulate a lot of knowledge quickly. Uh, that you can then use and apply. Now, if you notice the peak of that curve there, we're seeing age here on the x-axis. It's, it's a little controversial, but they say that fluid intelligence starts to drop off around your 40s, your early 40s, um, and that a lot of people have done their best work, their scientific discoveries in their late 20s or early 30s. And then it can get very frustrated and not run, understand, oh, why am I not able to do all the analysis and innovation that I used to do as I'm getting older? But that's where crystallized intelligence kicks in. And it is different. You may not be able, able to analyze as quickly or as much. You may not be as uh, involved in innovating ideas. But you are able, at this point, of taking this amassed amount of information uh, and start to combine complex ideas and recognize themes and patterns, uh, which is awesome for teaching and for mentoring and for just kind of shifting your career away from the just the go, go, go of innovation in towards how do I use this now for conveying the idea and inspiring others. Uh, I think about this in academia where with high fluid intelligence, we've got people publishing the academic referee journal articles. Um, and then we move more and crystallize since they have gathered so much information is when we're starting to see more books maybe being written and particularly maybe layperson books like, hey, I can take this information and I can word it in a way for uh, people that are not in academia to understand and use this in their lives. All right, I'd love to hear your comments on this. Again, share this with your parents uh, and just recognize that if you're starting to feel like you're losing some of that intelligence, it may feel like burnout. It just may be a shift. You may be shifting into a new form of intelligence and we wanna make sure we're leveraging that well. All right, good people, take good care. We'll talk to you on the next video.